going to ask me questions and I'm going to answer, right? Yeah, for sure. Cool. Kevin, what's going on, man? Um, appreciate you hopping on for a few minutes here uh, and sharing a little bit of your story because I think um, your story is perfect for what is happening right now. So I don't want to uh, take too much, but um, I got to know, what was that back in November? Got to, to meet you yeah. through some mutual connections. And um, obviously your background, not only being in uh, the service, um, and thank you for that, obviously, uh, you've gained a lot from that. And then the personal training to becoming most fit in Nashville, um, and I don't even know if I got that or gave it enough credit, but I'll let you talk about that. But um, just for everybody watching, Kevin's uh, story is he was, he's been hit hard by this, um, as we all have, but his took a, uh, even more uh, of a hit in his business and having to adapt and adjust. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't be more excited for what the future holds for him. And I don't want to go too much into that yet, but really quickly, if you don't mind kind of taking us through what you do, your, a little bit of your background, um, and then maybe we can hop into it from there, if that's all right, man. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for making the time for us as well. Uh, Katie and I, my wife and I both provide online training programs for whether you're in a gym or whether you're in a hotel, from the fitness side and the nutrition component. And you mentioned on something that with the Nashville's Fitness Competition whenever I won that, I really felt like I was missing – a massive opportunity you know they've got 18,000 followers on their magazine and I'm on the cover of this magazine and I had no I had nothing to provide for other people I didn't have a program to put out there so my entire journey started when I wanted to be able to release to other people a program that they could follow so that they could train our style you know yep. so we started creating video content because you know, I followed online programs for years and whenever I log in and I'd see a workout, I'd be like, I don't really know what that means. So I go to YouTube, I look it up and then I look at it. I say, I can't even do it. So we thought about what if we create a program where video links are attached to the movement and then there's also progressions to every exercise. So no matter who you are, we can meet you where you're at and we can progress you through the journey. So that's, awesome. that's the short end of what we do. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and the and the main point. So, so obviously the digital aspect, which is really ramping up right now. Uh, up until that, though, you have been your standard personal trainer, right? You're you've been uh, at facilities and gyms, kind of doing that. But in the background, you are creating just naturally creating content, just because that's what you love to do right like that that's just your passion so right. and i know katie's passion is is right there with you which is awesome that you guys are able to do that together but you talk about that so you you have been in how long were you have you been doing personal training because i know and, and touch on your service as well because special okay. forces right like it was yeah legit stuff like you're the real deal yeah. but that if you can just tell that story really quickly as far as like Special forces, then getting into personal training, and then we'll, we'll kind of lead up to, to where we are today. Yeah, so talk about my athletic background and also in the military. You know, I played collegiate and professional basketball. And as, after that, I was looking to be a part of a community of people that really wanted to train hard and push each other. So I thought about firefighting. I thought about police. I thought about, you know, all that type of different stuff. And I said, well, well when I was actually, when I was 18, I enlisted in Navy SEALs and then my mom stood at the front door and held me back and was praying on her knees that I don't go and all this and that. So of course, after, uh, after basketball, I wanted to go back into the, to give that another go. So uh, yeah, I joined the, joined the Air Force and was TACP, which is tactical air control and uh, learned some good stuff, a lot of, of good course. training. And, you know, I was, been training since 2009. I lived in Houston, Texas, Fort Lauderdale, Oregon, and San Diego. And every time as a personal trainer, I had to start my business over. I'd move to a new city, have zero business and have to start over. And what a powerful way to learn good business practices and how to connect with people because you're not, you don't have any clients, you don't know anybody, right? Yep. So that's when I started to think about, well, how can I create income when I'm not just in front of people. 
and I had no clue how to go about doing that. So I started following, so I started following online programs and I saw what they were doing. Yep. And, you know, I just wanted to replicate that and fill in the gaps that they weren't doing, you know, with the videos, the links, the progressions, all that stuff. Yep. So each time that you moved, uh, you were obviously having to pick up and then go and start networking again at that new place or generating um, new uh, members, I guess, for your personal yeah. training in person. And right. you, what, what, what did you get? Did you do that on your own or would you go to a gym and be a part of that community of the gym each place that you went? Yeah, so I was actually climbing my way up the corporate ladder at 24 Hour Fitness. So I would move, and then I, you know, but every time you just hand me the name tag, and it's like, here you go. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Not really, you know. They show you how to work the computers, and then you're on your own to go figure it out and go meet people and talk to people. And and so you would just hang out in the gyms, and you would just go talk and what? Give them a free consultation or a free workout to try to get them in the door. Yeah, man. The the personal training hustle was legit. I was there from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. until I met Katie, and that all came to an abrupt stop. Yeah. Well, good. Good. It's good something did. I'm sure yeah. that that, that we definitely all day long. You know, I was high high achiever. I wanted to be – I didn't want to just be the best in my club. I wanted to be the best in the country, you know? Yeah. Which – yeah, I, I mean, like, that just shows yeah. the competitiveness. I mean, that's where you've you got to this point. So – you know, as you were transitioning, then you started um, really uh, during these transitional times. I mean, as you were moving uh, from place to place at those stops, were you at each one? Were you still continuing to shoot content and all that from an online perspective? Or, or did you finally reach a point and that's what kind of started it? Or was it the Katie help start that, you know, whenever you met her and you guys started talking about it. What, when did you start and say, I'm, we need to start documenting. That's hilarious. Cause this is something that it's one of those, if you talk to any trainer, every trainer yeah. would tell you they want their own gym, every one of them. And for a long time, I said the same thing too. We talk about it, talk about it, talk about it. And Katie and I moved very quickly in our relationship. Yeah. And I met her on a Friday. I asked her out on a Sunday. And I think two weeks later, I went down to go visit my uncle in Florida and I threw out the idea. I was like, you know, she, we were getting to know each other. Like, what do you want to do? And what do you want to do? And type thing. I was like, well, I want to have an online fitness business. I think you and I could, could kill it with Katie and Kevin K squared. And she yeah. kind of laughed at it. She was like, yeah, that, that could be cool. I could do like a clothing line, you know? <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it's, yeah. and then, you know, I'd say about here we are now and we have, you know, this hat is a K squared hat and we have our website up and we have, so it was really all in my head and it wasn't until Katie where I started putting like pen to paper, putting stuff on documents, start recording videos and you know, I couldn't have done it without meeting her and with her support and yeah. also getting me out of the gym because being in the gym 12 to 15 hours a day, it was time is money in front of people. How do you create that same revenue stream or better online? For sure. And you guys do an incredible job. I love the, you know, the content that you guys put out. <clears throat> Obviously, we, we follow it um, daily, and uh, you guys do an incredible job with that. And it seems that it's just kind of uh, natural, like you guys are just documenting who you are and what you're passionate about and, mm -hmm. and putting it out there, which I think hold a lot of people back um, mm -hmm. whenever it's talking about trying to up the digital side of stuff and really get be able to uh, because being face to face obviously is still the best way uh, to to conduct, but video is right there behind it, and you can impact so many more people and get your message out to so many more as you guys are realizing by right. by just getting your iPhone or your your Android out and and taping it and then um, videoing it and then just putting it out there, you know, and and uh, you guys do an incredible job with that. Uh, as far as so, fast forward to. I guess November, whenever I, you know, we, we were, had the opportunity to meet and discuss things. And one thing that was very clear is that you were very uh, detailed out. You, you could tell that, I mean, the, the content that you were putting together and all that um, was phenomenal and it was very structured and everything you were doing. So what, I mean, 
did you schedule this stuff out ahead of time? Was it something where you just kind of, you started like you started just filming and then you realized, Hey, the more that we do this, the more I want to have it structured and know exactly like what videos are going to do what, like what, how did that come about? Well, the truth behind it all is when you have a corporate job that says that you're not allowed to have an online program, if you're going to be employed for us, well, need something to pay the bills, but I just created all this content on the back end because, you know, I, could, I couldn't do what I, what every business coach tells you to do is like put it out there and evolve as you go. Right. Yep. This process was takes, took a lot of discipline and a lot of patience because creating all the videos, we've got 1500 pages of content now of workouts. We've got a, entire year planned out for every one of our programs, whether you're in a gym, hotel, if you're a CrossFit competitor, we got it all mapped out. And then we have all the videos attached to it. And like I said, that was the whole purpose was because we couldn't release it. So had to have these detailed plans of what do we need to do? So when it's go time, it's like dropping a bomb, you know, yep. but then that's where you guys come into play because you can have the best product, the best videos in the world, Nobody knows about it. It doesn't matter. Exactly. Exactly. And, you know, that's a lot of times, I mean, and, and because we come across um, people who have the passion and they, they know and they see it and they see the vision, they see what they want to do and they're doing all of the right things foundationally, but then packaging it up and then making it into where it's now going to go out and generate business. Um, a lot of times it just takes a, a, a partner to be able to do that, obviously, uh, which we have the opportunity to do almost daily. Um, but we only do such a small percentage of the work. I mean, it goes back to, to you and Katie and everything that you have done up to this point. And that goes for a lot of our clients. I mean, you're going to, you're putting the work in, we're just helping you kind of put it all together and make it go out and start turning it into a legit, business at that point uh, because you're you're generating now we're going to we want to help you generate um, as far as so the, the it was funny because you mentioned I was going to touch on this because I think it's important but you were working for for somebody and we don't have to go into exactly who that is but um, you were working for somebody and they basically ha you had a bit of a non-compete is the way that a lot of people would look at view that it's very common especially in sales positions and uh, really a lot of positions in the professional world are these non-competes that may be holding you back from really trying to elevate your either personal brand or something else that you're doing. What was it that, um, man, what, uh, what was I going, how was I going to ask it? I mean, what, either, either holding you back, what, yeah, what, what was there a sense of security with having that position that was holding you back from releasing this? Was it the potentially like, what were you, what were you nervous about um, before going live with all this? You, I mean, you've got all of this content. It's, you've got a great, everything was there. So what was holding you back? I think a lot of people deal with this. So oh, yeah. that's why I want to touch on it. If you're willing to, to talk about that. Yeah. Even someone like me that is uh, extremely disciplined, structured and loves to prepare for everything. If you prepare, but you never start, nothing ever happens. Yep. And, you know, the sense of security, uh, you know, I'm a lot more optimistic than most. I, I really believe yeah. in Katie and I and what we can do for, you know, because when it comes down to it, we're just trying to help people live better lives. So it's something that we're extremely passionate about. And then also, too, it's, because I'm so optimistic, I feel like we're missing out on opportunity. I know we are. How can you only focus on people that are in front of you? Yep. When reaching out to people in cities that I've lived in in the past and I shoot them a program and then they tell me that they've lost X amount of pounds and how much better they feel and after playing with their kids and blah, blah, blah. It's like, all I did was send you a piece of paper. Yeah. You know, now adding video to it and all this stuff just connects more. I'm not sure if I answered the question no, you absolutely. No, I mean, you're, you're talking about getting your message out at scale because you know that you can change people's lives and you know, you can help and you know, you do it the right way. 
and you know you actually give a damn about yeah. what what what's going on. Right. You know, I think that that's important, uh, especially with people that know that their purpose is a little bit bigger. 20 years ago, the only way you could do that is through national publications and spending hundreds of thousands of dollars or getting it in front of thousands of people where, where now me being from small towns in South Carolina to, to you being in Nashville and traveling all over, but we have opportunities um, to get our message out at scale because our intentions are just to help people either live better lives, get better results whenever it comes to their marketing or their advertising or, or whatever it is, whatever your business is. And I, I think a lot of people, they get stuck. We've all been there. I, I came from the corporate world and I had to make that leap. And when, and, and so I, I always tried to, to go and, and try to understand from um, anybody who now has gone from having that that job but you know that there's something bigger and better out there but it's tough to maybe even know when and in your scenario obviously <laughs> you were you were right there anyway but yeah. it was almost like a higher thing came in and said yeah you need right. to get your message out there now right yeah. <laughs> um so you know and you were right there anyway so it was just kind of a nudge but um so i i think what what, uh, you know, obviously coming up to this point now, and you've been working uh, for a long time on the content, and then for the past several months working to put all this content together, put it in the form of the program, which is now live and active, and we'll talk about that here as we wrap things up. Um, but right now, you you have had the the uh, unfortunate event of, of having this uh, position you've been holding for a while with a um, uh, very prominent gym and, and brand out there. And all of a sudden you got, what, a phone call that said, hey, we, we can't use you anymore, right? Yeah. Because of all of this. Right. Got an email. I got an email. I didn't even know, actually. I was at Kroger's and I saw a coworker. I said, hey, when do you think things are going to get going again? And they were like, it's going to be a minute, man. We're not looking till like middle of June or something. I was like, whoa. They were like, you need to watch the email from you or you need to watch the video from your email. They watched the email and they said they have no choice but to, to let everybody go. It's like, okay. <laughs> and then I was so just, what did you, and, and look, man, there's so many people that are dealing with that exact same scenario right now. Right. What, man, um, what, so what, what went through, your head like what did you what have you learned from all this when whenever it comes to somebody so somebody's out there in your exact same position they 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 go out there they know that there's more opportunity but somebody in your exact maybe it's a personal trainer maybe it's somebody that works a nine to five behind a computer whatever it may be but um and i know we've had conversations about this but what what have you what did it open your eyes up to whenever you just get an email basically saying, Hey, peace. Uh, thanks for everything, but we, there's nothing we can do. Um, and bye. Like what, what did you take? Have you taken anything away from that now that you've sat back and realized kind of what happened and just all of a sudden it was peace out. It's definitely been uh, and I'm long. putting you on the spot right now. I know. So yeah, I like, I like pushing the button. Yeah. It's definitely been a large adjustment. I'd say that the, the biggest thing is it's one thing if you're getting kicked out and then you have this client following and it's like, Oh, you know what? I'm going to go find another solution. Most people will go work at a different gym and they'll say, Hey, you know, this is where I'm at now. I'm happy to have you come train me, whatever. <clears throat> or they open up their own shop, you know, and they're reaching out to their people. Right. In this case, with everything being closed, we had to think how in the world do we still, number one, which I've told my clients when I've reached out to them, I say, I need you so that I can feel satisfied because I love the training, right? So it's more than just collecting some extra cash on, you know, I need to make some money because now that we're let out of a job, it's like, no, I actually run a train because I enjoy it. It's a part of who makes it who I am. 
Yep. So we had to figure out ways to train to still work together because it's so easy for these people and everyone, including myself during this time to get complacent, right? Yeah. Hold so you, you immediately went to how do we adapt first and foremost? Um, and which I think a lot of people are dealing with that and they may not be quite sure, but yours was led. It was very interesting what you just said. So you're, you weren't saying, Hey, how do I adapt? How do I make money at this point? You basically just said, what, what do I need to fill, fill that, that void for, for Kevin. Right. And you reached out and said, guys, I don't, you know, I'm not looking at, I just need you to, so that I can still feel. Yeah. That's my thing. Yeah. And so it's all, it, it was all from, not a place of money or anything now the adapt the adapt you adapting is what do i what do i love this is a perfect opportunity to to go out there the money will follow you know but this is what i need to feel whole and for me for kevin to to continue um just feeling purposeful and then you reached out and said hey i just let me help you help me essentially you know if you really break it down that's all you did and i think a lot of people right now that is one of the biggest things and biggest areas of opportunity is how can you reach out and almost say let me help you you help me and let's just get through this together the money will come you know um so that's interesting what you said i don't even think you meant to for it to come across that way but that's the way that i see it and that's 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 awesome like that is exactly it you're not following the money you're just saying hey how can we how can we get through through this together now now that we're uh, at that point obviously you've been working on your digital program and and you get that email um which i still can't believe it was an email but you get the email uh, you find out they've let you you know they're having to part ways with a lot of trainers you weren't the only one um so now you've got to adjust and adapt and then you come home and uh and basically say it's time to to pull the trigger on the programs and get that up and going so you adapted into the only way to to really continue making a living for you and your family but the only way to really fulfill what you wanted so talk about that talk about the last week week and a half of getting this stuff up and going you know and and uh how you're how you're feeling and then we'll we'll kind of close it out with with um you know exactly how people can can utilize things um from your programs and all that but talk about what it's been like the last week week and a half has it been uh kind of refreshing are you are you a little nervous about how things are are going to start and what what you're having to do now is it an adjustment what what's going on yeah, so Katie and I were, were both in the Kroger store when we saw my employee, my coworker, and I was like, well, we better get home and check out this email. And then, you know, she's making dinner, and I check the email and say, well, yeah. How was that ride home, by the way? It was a two-minute drive. So <laughs> okay, so not, so not much, but you are probably uh, got a lot of thoughts going on in your head. Right, and, you know, like you said, it, it really pushed me to just get – What's the next opportunity? How can we capitalize? Because we've been preparing so much for our website, it was like really excited. Like I'm pumped. Let's go time. How do we get this thing up? Let's finalize the finishing touches. Let's get going. So when you and Megan got everything up and rolling and and getting this, you know, I'm such a visual person. When I get to see it, I'm like, yes. Yeah. Yes. You know, and getting to effectively communicate what we do by just going to something that we created yep. is incredible. Yeah. You know, how do you, you know, cause every time someone tells me on the street, you know, oh, what, t- what type of style of training do you do? You know, yep. it's, geez, you know, you're supposed to have that one sentence that hooks everybody in. Right. But there's so much more than just a sentence. We want to paint a story. We want to tell people through that, how we can help them. And yep. now we're going to do that online. Whether, like I mentioned before, wherever you are, whoever you are, because we have so many different programs, we can help people out. 
Yep. So let's talk, let's, let's talk about that really quickly. So you've got really a, a few different programs based on where people are at, right? Like what their, their, whether that's their fitness levels and, and what, what's currently going on in their life. Talk really quickly about the program, how it's set up and um, who's kind of the ideal for each one of those and, and how easily it is to, to kind of get started with that. Yeah, so we got a couple different programs. The one that's really popular right now or is going to be throughout this time is K2 Executive. It was initially intended to be for all my clients that travel a lot. So they're in a hotel and they don't have access to very much. They have a pair of dumbbells and typically a treadmill. So that applies to people at home that typically have a pair of dumbbells and they can get outside and run um, or in a hotel. Our, our K2 Fitness program is tailored to being in a gym, K2 athlete is if someone that's used to strength conditioning, military, CrossFit, all that business. Yep. K2 running program and all these different programs, no matter where you're at, you need to, you need to have the program that's geared towards where you are, whether you're at home in a gym or CrossFit athlete. But all of them, because of the different levels of everything, it'll meet you where you're at because you'll take an initial test and then based off the test, it'll tell you what movements you're good at, what you need help with. And lost my train of thought there. No, you're good. The, the biggest thing is because if it's most online programs, you log in, you see a workout and you think I can't do that. Ours will progress you through the levels on how to, how to, yeah. where you can do so, it. And the thing is, is like, especially with the executive where you're doing it, uh, you're providing practical, you know, workout regimens for people based on what the situation they're in at that moment. So right. if you're traveling and you're a traveling executive, one of the hardest things, and I know from whenever I used to travel a little bit more was obviously it's hard, you know, people want to provide you with a workout, but it's hard one you try to get it done in your hotel room because they're like, yeah, you don't need to use anything. And that's tough. But um, having the ability as executives or owners or whatever it is, having the ability to not have to think about what you need to do right. and having that right in front of you and saying, Hey, um, if you're at a hotel right now, go down to the fitness center. We're going to use the uh, everything you have access to. So maybe some dumbbells and then, a treadmill, run on the treadmill for 10, 15 minutes and get up and do these workouts. Here's exactly how to do the workouts um, is invaluable because it's, it speeds up time. You can get it done quickly and everything's right there for you to use. So um, I love every aspect of that, man. I mean, I, I just think that the sky's the limit for you. And uh, this is only the beginning, obviously of. And the executive program is tailored to, People that are typically working out at home and are executives that are in hotels, they don't have a lot of time. So exactly. they to get you in and out in 30 minutes where it works every muscle in your body, you know. That's awesome. Katie That's and I have a huge emphasis on core strength. So we do a lot of core work and that'll make everything else stronger. That's amazing. I love it, man. I, I think, uh, like I said, I just, I love your, your story. I, I don't think there's any doubt that success is right around the corner. I think a lot of things happen for a reason. Um, this kind of gave you that nudge, even though you were right there anyway. But I think sometimes, you know, getting that, getting that last little kick and, and basically saying it's time. Um, now you are online and, and doing your own, your own thing and feeling good about it. And, um, you know, we're happy just to be a part of it. Uh, as far as if somebody's looking right now, what, uh, yeah, I, I believe you're doing, what, a, a dollar trial for, to, to sign up for the program. Um, dollar a week trial. Dollar a week trial. You can try. You know, right now everybody needs to hop on the executive program unless you, because you don't have, you don't need a lot. You just need dumbbell. Yeah. We'll rock your world in thirty minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Which is what it's all about. I mean, um, if people want to follow, you, where can they follow? Because y'all put out really good content on Instagram and and everywhere else. So what's uh, what's your handle there? And then um, if they want to go check out your website where do yeah. you go our instagram is get k squared fit square to spell out and then yeah. our website is k squared fitness.com awesome well awesome man thanks for uh sharing the story obviously 
And, um, you know, like I said, man, I'm just super excited for you and for Katie and what you guys are doing. Um, I'm just, I'm excited to see where it goes, man. It's going to be yeah. good. I'm really, really happy to have you guys on my team and helping us out because we wouldn't know what to do without you guys. So it's, I, I've done some online marketing courses to try to figure things out. And I think in some cases that helps Megan out because I have, you know, because I'm not just from the dirt, but oh, yes. I, uh, I couldn't do it without you guys. So we're really happy to have your, have your help. Hey man, we're just, we're just, we're just excited to be a part of it. So, but it's only the beginning, man. We, you know, you get the, you get the programs up there. We help you. We do everything you've put in all the work. Um, obviously I know Megan and some and our team has done a lot of the back end technical stuff, but you know, all the stuff that you've done, that's where, that's where it really happens. We're just trying, we're just kind of helping it get out there because it's, you know, that's where, that's where it, it really is going to, to take off. So we're just excited to be a part of it. Thanks for all those words, but we got a lot, a lot further to go, man. So um, we'll be excited about a year from now, whenever we're all maybe down at the beach, hopefully not in quarantine, uh, sipping some drinks together. Yeah. It's exciting to hear that now we're getting to the stuff that you guys really excel at. So which is it, man. That's the truth. It's the truth. That's where the, that's what I was, you know, Megan and I have that conversation all the time of, uh, but yeah, that's what, that's where we're at now with you guys. We haven't even gotten to the stuff that we, we really know how to do, even though uh, we know how to do a lot of things very, very well. But uh, whenever it starts getting out to promoting and, and pushing that brand and getting results, that's, uh, that's the name of the game for us. So we're excited, man. But um but thanks for sharing the story. Go back. I know you guys are working and I caught you in the middle of, of putting together some content. So get back at it and uh, stay healthy and safe. All right, brother. All right, man. Talk to you soon. Okay.